Hi everyone, in this video I'll be discussing all the options for a C5 Corvette center console, radio bezel, and armrest. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel about building a kit car, Corvettes, and other car topics. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit the notification buttons below and share with others on social media. If you've seen some of my last videos, I have a few issues with my C5 Corvette interior components. One, aftermarket stereo with subwoofers not working, and yes, it does have the official adapter. Two, armrest door of the center console needs repair. Oh, you've got to be f***ing yeah. kidding me. Three, the radio bezel needs repair. And four, the cup holder also needs repair. And these all intertwine since it's all part of the center console. Now in my case, I have the 2003 50th anniversary Corvette with the shale interior. This is causing issues for me since there is almost no aftermarket parts in this matching color for my car. It is a limited edition. But let's throw that aside for now and talk about general options. If I was using this as a daily driver or a car I was going to hold on for a long while and wanted to customize it to my desires, I would want to have Bluetooth and a rear view camera. This means buying a customized radial bezel that will fit a Pioneer full screen head unit that takes a rear camera input. Now if you have a black center console, you could get one of these from $200 to $300 pre-made. You could also get a carbon fiber version for $350 and up. But I think unless you do all the interior trim pieces with carbon fiber, just doing this section alone sticks out like a sore thumb. At one point, I found a shale radial bezel that would fit a full screen Pioneer, but it was over $500 and technically the wrong color. The shale interior bezels is the darker of the shale interior, which is actually called medium dark neutral. The actual shale color is the floor carpet, which is lighter, not the center console color. I'm not sure if any C5 bezel was actually in that color, so I think they screwed up on the color to make this bezel. And I was not going to pay that much money either. I also thought about getting a regular single din stereo with a slide out screen, but the price on these is $500 too. And then I realized the stock stereo is not a normal din either, so there would still be a trim piece needed if I had to put the aftermarket piece in. The next option is an armrest lid and cover. Sometimes you could buy them attached to the lid already for $200 or just the cover for $100. You could also get a new emergency brake handle in the color of your choice for about $70. Mine has some scrapes on it so I might have to replace it. And then lastly, you could spray coat your interior to match colors and cover up issues. This is what the dealers do when they get a new or used car that has a blemish inside. They hire someone to come in and fix it for them. I looked into this, but there's a lot of things you have to buy to get started. So it might be better to have a pro do it instead of having all these supplies you'll never use again. And also, I'd be taking my first stab at it, and I'll probably not do my best work. If I had three or four cars to do, then it'd probably be worth the investment and in learning how to do it. So in my case, I decided to actually restore the whole center console. I will do as much as I can myself and hopefully not hit a wall. It also looks like I'll probably put the original stereo back and make this car go back to stock since it is a collector's edition. There is so much work to be done, I am going to spread it out over multiple videos. So definitely check out the set since they will overlap a little bit compared just to the specific title of the video. So till next time, please hit the subscribe and notification buttons below and have a great day.